Hello, welcome back to a new video. Today we are going to be talking about Art Fight. So today I am going to start drawing the characters I've selected for Art Fight. I'm on Team Seam Foam. Um, this is my first year joining. I don't know why I never did this before. I love to draw especially other people's characters and now we are going to look into the characters that I will be drawing. So for today we have two characters. We have Soul Chimina, I think, by Quetzal. This character is a knight. Let's read their bio. Chimina is a human paladin. Pal paladin. Pal pal paladin? Paladin. Paladin? With a fierce loyalty to her kingdom and pr Princess Luciana, who she has sworn to protect. On Luciana's wedding day, the princess made the last minute initiative to run away with her knight in search of a more suitable husband than the one that had been arranged for her. Jimena agrees to uh, aid her in her mission and they run away together on a journey to find the, a prince perfect for Luciana and willing to rule a kingdom with her. So what I'm getting from this is that, um, well... Wait, there's more. They, the, Luciana and Jamina are in love. So I already know what to do um, for some of that. Feel free to simplify her armor or draw her without it. I think I'm gonna try to do alternative outfits and character interactions because that's what um, is allowed. I think I'm gonna do a portrait so I can get the gist of her character. And then I will do another thing where maybe she's like fighting or posing or gearing up to protect her. Or, um, you know, just something strong and shows her character, her protectiveness and her loyalty. And then I'll do another pose where they're together. And I will also do that same thing for Luciana. Now, I wanted to see if anybody did any attacks. So apparently two people did attacks. So I'm going to look at that to get some influence. Oh, wow. This one is so good. This is a Luciana and Jamina. And this is a very pretty piece. Oh, this is so cute. I love it. And then there's also another attack. That's a buy. Okay, so this is like a one that's similar. It has the armor and everything. I'm thinking of keeping that heart motif in her armor that she has also drawn at the side. I'm thinking of keeping that in another design that I would draw. But for now, that's what we are looking at. And here's the second person who I want to draw. Runaway Princess Bride. Luciana is the future elf queen, heiress to her kingdom, but she does not think that her arranged student has her or her kingdom's best interest in mind. In response, she takes off on a journey to find the per perfect room where her personal knight, Jamina, to guide her. So she, Luciana is fat and ethereally gorgeous. So I'm not gonna change her body type. I see her. And she also has elf ears and she has this veil over her face and it's and the headpiece as well. She can be drawn without it, but I feel like I want to see if I can draw her with it. And this is also in the Dungeons and Dragons realm, which I've actually never gotten into, but everything I see about it seems really cool. So there's that. I should have showed more of my thingy so when I cut off my head well whatever but yeah I'm gonna draw these two characters separately and together and that's what we're gonna be doing for art fight this week I think I have 10 characters bookmarked and we're gonna try to do um like two or three characters per episode since these are by the same person I just want to keep them together and yeah that's how we're gonna go okay let's get into it hello everybody it is the 4th of July and I am now recording this part and then I will finally get into um, drawing the other character today, the princess. I'm excited to draw her. So I first started off with my portrait and then I did a little half body thing. I, did, I was going to do two portraits and one interaction but I decided to go for a portrait, a half body and then I'll do the interaction for the other drawing. That I, when I draw the princess I really wanted to get familiar with her face so I tried to make sure the eyes were the most the eyes and the hair were the like most distinctive parts 
and um i think i kind of like did that and also i looked at the eyebrows oh this person's drawing style is just so cool i just think the art style is so beautiful and i wanted to make sure i could capture soul in a way that like felt like the character still but i felt so proud of myself when i did this first drawing but then i the second one i liked it even better and now looking back at this first one i'm like not as much of a fan of it <laughs> Even though it's good, I don't know why, I'm just like, mm, like, the other one is better. I think it's because when I did that other one, I ended up liking it so much that I had, like, a flat version of it, and I had never just liked my flats before, and that's what made me really think, like, wow, I love this. I feel like I'm doing a good job with my art. What made me choose her style, I was trying to think of something that would show, like, be similar to armor, so, like, stuff that's covered up. But also something that will remind you of royalty and something that would go with the silver and the rest of her color scheme. So I picked green and I picked that same blue that she has in her highlights and in her earrings. It's like a grayish blue for the um, for like the silver tone of it. And then I did the half body and I used a reference and I've been studying again. I've been studying how to do anatomy because I always feel like right when I'm moving away to do other things I start to lose the plot of how I want to draw bodies which sucks but this one it felt better I also gave her muscles because I feel like knights are very muscular and in shape and you know you're a warrior you're a soldier I had really a lot of fun doing her hair as well like there's something so fun about the shape of it and so that was one of my favorite parts it's it made me think about how to draw hair better as well um i f always feel like i'm lacking when i draw hair especially the hairline i feel like in the first drawing it needed a bit more of a curve and in the second drawing it was a little bit better but i don't know it's always so rough for me because i feel like the flat painting is what screws me over but i always see people do it their hairline like completely um, flat and everything it doesn't look bad when they do it so i'm like why not me the highlights were actually really fun to add on this and brought a lot of life to it and yeah here is the final pieces for Sol Shemina. let's go into okay for the second one i kind of ran out of steam unfortunately but i also wanted to make sure i did the character justice so i ended up only doing a bust and i didn't do all the things i planned to in the beginning i have about nine other art fight stuff i want to do as well and from the beginning i had just felt off with this because i didn't think I was drawing her head as big as I drew her knights and so that's where it threw me off. I think the design is so beautiful. I tried to do the little halo crown as a background, her headpiece I mean, and then I made tried to draw it on there but I was like the perspective isn't right and that started to annoy me. I would have had to fix the um, left side of it which would be her right but yeah I just felt like I was messing up a lot so I ended up just doing this one piece and taking that away and I feel like it was so simplistic and not at all what I was going for but I hope you guys still like the video thank you so much for watching I can't wait to show you the rest of the pieces I'm gonna do have a great day comment like and subscribe